Hey Jolly Beans, welcome back. Um, let me turn this down so I was in here watching uh Nova Scotia living. I like her. <laughs> so that's what I'm in here watching. And I said, well, let me come back on with my jelly beans. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing today. And so, I'm going to just be putting out videos whenever I want to put some up. <laughs> this is, came from Amazon. And I'm so pumped about this. This is what Ashley got me. These the arm things that go around your arms. So I got these. They go up here around your arms when you working out. And this is this is my waist trainer. This part go around your waist. And this go around the thighs. Or is it this part? No. This part go around your waist. My bad. <laughs> This part go around your waist, and these part go around your thighs. Yeah, this go around your thighs. So I got me a waist trainer. I'm so happy. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Which already told her thank you. I ain't, and the thing about it, I put it in my Amazon cart. When she was here, and she was like, Mom, what you doing? I said nothing. I said, this waist trainer, I want to get a waist trainer. So when I'm working out, but when I, you know, start working out, I always wanted the waist trainer. I said, so I put one in my cart. So she took my phone and um, pulled out her credit card and ordered it. <laughs> Well, that's how my daughter is, though. She she pulled some of them. She did. Yep, so I got me a waist trainer, guys. And I do want to say this, too, while we sitting here chit-chatting, because I got all these clothes to fold. So that's why y'all sitting right here with me while I'm be folding up these clothes. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, I, um... I, I wanted to say this too about my healthy lifestyle. For those of you um, that want to know, I, I'm I'm just doing I'm doing my own thing, and I'm just doing what um, I know is healthy eating to me and stuff like that. You know, um, I already talked over with my doctor, so he do know. That I'm on a healthy journey, so to make sure I talked it over with him to make sure I'm not doing nothing all crazy like I normally do. <laughs> like when I got off my medicine and tried to go the healthy way of um, and taking, you know, vitamins and all that. But anyway, yeah. So anybody, just just if you're interested in doing, you know, doing something healthy, or even if you see like what um, motivation off of YouTube from other. Um, people that's doing like healthy eating and stuff like that or vegans and stuff you can just pick up little bits and pieces from here and there and just put your own twist on it you know just put your own twist on it because that's what i do i mean i i know what's healthy and what ain't you pretty much know what's healthy and what's what what um is healthy so just to incorporate just try to incorporate that you know the more healthier things in your daily daily routine and stuff when it come to eating because that's what I'm doing you know that's how I'm doing it you know I'm pretty much winging it off of the knowledge that I have and um things that my doctor you know gave me some pointers and um advice on and stuff like that like um like red meat when you having trying to go a healthy way of of eating they said red meat is um is not really good because it don't digest in your system. Um, it take a long time to digest down in your system. But um, like my doc my doctor told me, um, 
rent me could be like a cheat day for me. You know, at least one cheat day out the month so I won't be depriving myself of anything that uh, make me relapse. So, if I wanted to eat red meat, it would be one time out of the month. And um, it would still be baked or seared on the stove, something like that. It ain't going to be nothing fried. I'm not eating any fried food. Let me tell y'all what I'm doing. I'm not eating no fried foods anymore. I cut out, um, and I never was big on fried foods. I never was. I cut out the fried food. I'm, I cut off bread, anything bread. No type of bread, no um, crackers, pretzels, anything that have to do with some type of bread or something like that. No, I cut all that out. Um, I cut out the starch. I'm not eating no starch. I'm not eating no uh, mashed potatoes. I'm not eating no rice. I'm not eating um, like mac and cheese, any pastas. I cut out all pastas. So my basic thing is what I'm eating is chicken, um, seared chicken on top of the stove or baked chicken or um, seafood. Like I had the pink salmon, I had the shrimp and I have, um, I bought some ha uh, hellebuck fish and like and any fish, seafood and um, turkey. I fell off from the ground turkey because I had a bad experience with that the other day and I don't even want any more um, ground turkey at this present moment. Um, but I will be getting me some turkey wings. Um, I think I got a little bit down in the deep freezer. I think I have some in the deep freezer. I'm not sure. But anyway, turkey wings and, um, yeah, turkey wings. And, oh, I am going to get me some ground chicken. So when I make my little, um, spaghetti with my plant-based, um, and, uh, with my plant-based, um, Spaghetti strings that I showed you on the other haul. I do have that. So, I'm going to use um, ground chicken to make, you know, my spaghetti. And that's just things I'm doing. And um, a lot of vegetables. I love just about all vegetables. I have broccoli. I have string beans. I have um, carrots. Um, you know, um, cucumbers. Lettuce, tomatoes, anything like that. Or you can have a bull egg. I got bull eggs and honey bulled uh, for me. So when I want to pop something in my mouth, um, like a snack or something, I have a bull egg that I can uh, snack on, you know. Or um, slice up some cucumbers in a bowl. You know, you, you just have to find your niche. Find your niche and talk with your doctor and see what all it is that... Um, you know, to get you on your healthy journey. That's the most important thing. Talk to your doctor. You and your doctor come up with a healthy plan. And you just take it from there if you don't know which direction to start from. But yeah, so that's basically, that's what I'm doing. And I will say this. That day when I did that um, exercising and stuff. I, um, when I told you I was very hard, I couldn't really do the whole thing. I did like 10 minutes of it and I didn't um, start a back exercising yet or whatever. So I do have to get in that routine, the goal of things with that. And um, so, yeah, you just got to start, you know, as long as you start in somewhere, that's all that matters. You start and you just push your way on through because guys, God knows that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm just pushing my way through, you know. I know I got to start exercising. I got my waist trainer now. I'm happy about that. I had that. That came on the 19th. Day before yesterday. That came. So, um, I don't know. I might get up tomorrow and just start from there. And just, you know, I got to motivate myself to exercise. And I wasn't tripping over it. You know, it's another thing. Don't stress yourself out if you ain't exercising just, you know, right away or whatever, because you don't want to, I'm, I'm me personally, I'm not trying to overwhelm myself. And my husband can't do that. Let me pause this. I'm not trying to overwhelm myself with what I'm doing. So I'm just taking my time. And when I can push myself to go on to the, the next part of my healthy journey, then that's what I'll do. So I may get up tomorrow and start, you know, um, do as much as the workout, um, that I can. Or I might not, you know, I'm not stressing myself about it. As long as I know I'm starting off and I'm eating healthy now and um, I'm feeling 
good about that and i'm proud of myself and thank you penny uh for your um encouragement and your motivation and stuff and and for the tips they were some nice tips that um nice things that you was telling erica down in the comments but um yeah so i'm just taking it one day at a time and that's all i can do and i'm not going to overwhelm myself i'm not going to stress myself and like i said if i do um, have a cheat day. And when I mean by cheat day, I'm still not talking. I'm talking about like, like having a rib, like a steak, you know, or something like that, a steak or eat a little bit of pot roast or something like that. I'm not talking about a cheat day where having a, a cheeseburger or fried chicken or something like that. I'm not talking about that. My cheat day would be if, if I have a taste for red, for red meat or like a, a baked pork chop or something like that or a steak, but I'm not even going to deal with anyway. That's what I'm saying about my cheat day. It'll be something um, like red meat or whatever. If I have a taste for a steak or a pork chop or, like I said, a pot roast or something like that, that's going to be baked. But um, still not having no, no pasta or starch or nothing like that with it. It'll still just be with my vegetables. But, um, yeah, so you just... You just go with what you're trying to do and um, you'll find your niche. And like I said, talk with your doctor. Talk things over with your doctor first if you don't know where to start from. And just you and your doctor come up with a plan. And y'all just, y'all, you and your doctor, just take it from there. Let's take it from there. That's all you got to do, Erica. Talk over with your doctor. Y'all come up with a healthy meal plan. And you just take it from there, lovey. You can do it. You can do it. I'm doing it. You know. You got to find your niche with what works for you and um, do what all you can. And and when you're looking on YouTube and, and healthy, you know, healthy ways of um, eating, if you're watching other people for motivation, you could, you know, pick up some of their little tips and stuff. You know, you can go about like that. But like I said, the most important thing is, and I learned this the hard way, just go over things with your doctor, talk things over with your doctor. And you and your doctor come up with a healthy, uh, healthy lifestyle changing plan, uh, meal plan for you. And that's the best, that's the best advice I can give you. But yeah, Jelly Bean, so I'm just sitting here folding these clothes. And um, like I said, I'm, a, um, I'm, I'm feeling good. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm burping. Oh, and these, the meal plans, meal replacement shakes. I know Erica was asking, um, it's Equate, and it's uh, meal replacement um, meal replacement shakes. So this was my lunch. And what I had this morning, um, uh, well, y'all saw that video with my uh, healthy breakfast shake or whatever with, you know, my little bit of fruits. You know, you do what works for you. So I find with my green, my green healthy mix, um, powder mix, I like to put the fruit up in there. And I usually use almond milk, but I wanted to try the coconut milk. I do like almond milk. The coconut milk, you know, I like that too. But I do know after that coconut milk is gone, I'm going to go back to um, getting the almond milk. So I'm going to get the almond milk. And um, that's what I'm going to use for in the morning with my healthy drink. And I had this shake for lunch. And so far, and I did have an orange. So that's that. That's all I had. And I got my dinner prepared in there. Well, I got it. Um, I took out the chicken breast because I'm a I'm throwing that out, and um, I'm gonna make the chicken breast and with um, the rest of the cauliflower rice and curds that I have left in the refrigerator. I'm gonna bake a chicken breast and I'm gonna eat that with that. But the chicken breast is rather big, so I know I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm gonna just go here and cut it in half once it get done, and then I'm gonna um. Eat that with that because yesterday we could not find no parking spots. Not not right here. Not up there on Dorton Court where y'all saw me go up this morning and get the car. It was a nowhere to park when we came home. So we turned around and we went up Mama's and we set up there. I was just so upset. I told Honey to grab my food out the refrigerator, the two trays on top of each other. But I forgot that the cauliflower and the carrots was um down on the second rack. So he had grabbed the homemade gravy I made and the um pink salmon but mama had um leftover string beans there up in there in her house in the container so i ate my pink salmon with string beans that's what i had with my for my dinner and i ate that so i still got the cauliflower and curd so i said 
I'm going to just bake me. Um, well, I got three chicken breasts that I'm baking. And that's that. So I'm going to bake that and eat a half of one of those with um, my leftover cauliflower rice and carrots for dinner. And now I'm thinking something that I'm going to do with the other two. And, you know, that's that. So that's how that's going to go. All right, Jelly Brains. I just wanted to come on, chit-chat with you guys while I'm doing laundry. And if I could think of anything else to talk about, I'm, um, I'll come back on. All right. I love you guys. I hope this was helpful for anyone that need advice. I hope this um, was helpful for you, Erica Lovely, and anybody else that's dropping through. So if you're dropping through and just seeing this, um, hanging with the Bogeas for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Give your girl thumbs up. Tell your family, friends, and loved ones about hanging with the Bogeas. All right. God bless. Love you guys. See you on the next clip.